What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space. And we're back in Space Engineers with a really short video for today, because as you can probably tell, I have a bit of a messed up voice at this point. Uh, so what we have in front of me here uh, is my first little experimentation with using gravity engines to power things. Um, so this is simply five gravity generators on the back, and we have a couple of mass blocks tucked into these forward arms. And if I just jump in now, do a bit of demonstration is obviously a very simple design very simple ship just to test this stuff out but turn this on as you can see this handles and flies really quite nicely but it, it's not what you would describe as brisk um, you know was that 20 meters a second is as far as we've got so far weighing 234 tons so it's not a quick ship but if we now whack those gravity drives on you can see quite a dramatic difference in how fast we're moving not only that but this becomes actually an interestingly handling little thing because you tend to um as you turn you also roll a bit it's sort of some byproduct of the fact that it's using the gravity as well as the thrusters you get this quite cool sort of leaning fighter flight a sort of effect the other thing i found with these engines and sort of where they may potentially be really useful is that these have they seem to have a much better thrust to weight ratio than the actual engines themselves so once you get onto a very large ship that you can't fit that many engines on because it's heavy as anything these almost add more acceleration than just covering the thing in engines would. I tried attaching it to my ship from the last video and that ship is considerably quicker using this sort of method of propulsion than it is trying to use the standard engine approach. So just as I'm wrapping up, just before I finish, I thought I'd explain a little bit about why exactly my voice is messed up like this because I'm not ill, believe it or not. Um, this is the result of my weekend's endeavours. I am as seems to be quite common amongst YouTubers, quite uh, an avid air softer. And I had the opportunity the weekend that we've just passed to go and do a bit of acting down at Outbreak Brighton, which is a sort of outdoor horror zombie survival type event where me and a few friends were playing the part of the military, keeping things all in line. Uh, very good fun. I got to do a lot of shouting, as you can probably tell. Uh, I got to treat people in a way that perhaps is a little inhumane, never normally would get away with, which is remarkably therapeutic. Uh, and it all culminated on the Sunday evening with someone spotting us, apparently loading people into the back of a van at gunpoint. Uh, and so we had the attendance of the British Armed Police as well. Nice hairy moment to finish things all off, but a damn good story. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a really short one and a really simple idea this time around. I, honestly, I didn't feel up to try to record anything more. I hope you appreciate why exactly that is. And if you found it interesting, think the ship design's cool, well, hey, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. I'd also love to hear some comments from you about, I'm thinking about starting up streaming again, uh, in particular, maybe streaming some space engineers. What sort of stuff would you guys like to see? Would that be something you'd be interested in watching? Um, maybe just you know, me streaming the builds for my videos so that I can explain a bit about what's going on live, answer some questions. So yeah, hit me up below. I'd like to hear what your opinions on that are. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will catch you next time. Okay.